Hi, what's up YouTube? You're welcome to my channel and today I'll be teaching you how to miss your background vocals to sound like a choir or gospel music production. So let's go. Alright. all right all right all right all right okay now if you want to achieve something like this i want you to understand something there is no way you can record just three vocals maybe you track like three vocals auto soprano tenon and you want them to sound like this that's not possible it's no you, you won't be able to achieve something like this so you need to record your vocals at least take each each of the parts you can take or track four differently so for auto you take like four or tenor you take four soprano you take four then before you start missing them so that's what is there uh here i have like 16 vocals here i recorded recorded this vocal 16 times one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen i track we track these vocals 14 times and uh, 16 times and mind you it's just one person that is singing what well, everything you are hearing is just one person all right so now after the tracking for fs Studio users you need to select set them to different you need to route them to different channels so like this one i have this one on channel six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and so on so then from there they start doing panic so like here now the treble lines are the treble so my treble the melody line I So I I pan this one uh the first vocal pan it all the way to sixty six percent left then the other one uh, I pan it to all the way to I think it was sixty six right then the other one uh I think fifty four left then fifty four right also then from there so these are the these are the melody lines for the song. Then this is the part, these are the parts. Just so we took four years also. This one I did, I pan this one all the way up to 81% left. Then the other one I did 70 78% right. Now please, there is no rules. There is no particular rules like say that okay, it, it has to be 78% right. If you want to do your own, you don't have to do it like mine. That's what you should understand just use your headset and do it according to the what you are hearing according to what you want to achieve the meta picture that you have you get so just be doing that use, when you are using your use headset i recommend headset headset and monitor speaker so that you can at least hear everything properly so if you want to do your panning please don't pan it like mine 
it's because of what I wanted. I wanted it. That's why I did. I did it this way. So there is no rules. It doesn't have a rule. Missing music, missing missing a mastery. Generally, it doesn't have any rule. Just make sense. Make sure that what is coming out of your speaker is this. This making sense. That's just it. So. So, like for this one, like about four of these vocals, I did not plan it. They left them on the center. I did. I did. I did plan this part of it. I just left. I left everything on the at the center. Then, after all that. I routed the whole channel, everything. I routed everything to this particular bus. I created a bus for them. And, you know, all the channel, I routed everything. I created a bus for everything. Then I sent everything to the bus. Then I started processing it. I started processing it. So in my bus, I have uh, the uh, solid slate logic, the bus compressor. And the purpose of this compressor here is to glue this voice together. That's why I did it this way, so that the voice doesn't, you know. So it's to glue the voice together. Then I applied EQ. I didn't do more, much of the low end. Yeah. Missing, you just miss according to what you're hearing. So you pro, you process according to what is coming out from your monitors, from your speaker. You put the hand. So there, from there. I uh, added this uh, Waves Enigma plugin. The works of Waves Enigma plugin is just, uh, should I say, uh, to have it that, to give it that crisp, whatever, it just makes the, it gives it that, that presence, it makes it very, it makes it bright and, you know, you get me? So from there, I added this guy. This one is from Wave, uh, it's called Stereo Imager. So the work of this guy is to spread my voice, you know, to make uh, to make the book the choir has has that stereo feel, you know. There. Okay. Sound of your voice. So let me. Sound of your voice. Salem, Salem, King of Salem. So, this scent is from my reverb. For FS, for FS Studio users, you use scents for reverb. So, I, I created another channel, like I routed my boss to another channel. And, you know, I placed the reverb there. And you know, I use this send button to send it the reverb. To send the reverb. And the reverb that I use is Vala Vintage Verb. Then I roll off the low end from the reverb with my Fruity Parametric EQ2. It's a stock plugin on FS Studio. Then. Sound of your voice. Sound, sound of, sound of your voice. Sound of your voice. So now listen. Sound of your voice. Salem, Salem, Salem. King of Salem. So the reverb came to, you know, you get. Then from there. Salem, Salem, Salem. King of Salem, Jehovah Salem. I know I will find peace in you at the sound of your voice. Salem, Salem, Salem. King of Salem.
that will be all for today. Thank you so much. If you found anything, uh, if you learned anything from this tutorial, please leave a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and click the notification bell. On our next tutorial, I will be showing on showing you on how I produce this song actually, how I made these instrumentals and everything. That will be the next lesson. God bless you. God bless you. Please share the video and support the movement. We love you guys. Don't forget this is YouTube. This is a gospel music production channel, and you know, tell your friends about it and all that. God bless you. I love you.